Time for game number three, Mercury versus Ace Al. It's going to be on Overgrowth, one of the most aggressive maps I have ever seen. Bottom left of the map here on Overgrowth Ladder Edition, it is our Zerg player, currently tied with his opponent 1-1. One and one, Which I'm going to remove this. It is Blackberry's Ace Al. And top right of the map, we have his opponent, the blue Protoss once again, also looking to take care, also looking to take this show match down. This game, it is none other than our blue Protoss Mercury. So as I was trying to say, guys, this map is very aggressive. I mean, if you look at it at a short, like a, just a quick glance, you're you're thinking, oh, it's Cloud Kingdom. It's got the expansions running across the top here, running across the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's got that like cool S-shaped thing going on. And then you realize that kind of unlike Cloud Kingdom, instead of being a big S, the the attack path to your opponent is a straight line. So it's actually very, 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 very fast. Not to mention between the second and the third, there's this giant piece of crap that makes defending the third incredibly hard. So a lot of players go for crazy aggressive stuff on this map. In fact, we can see one drone, two drone, moving out from the base of ace right now and this is not something you ever do when you're playing normally so i can't wait to see what he's got in store for us perhaps a little cats-esque play does see the first drone picking up on it which you know seeing the probe is like <clears throat> bites him on the face a little bit and he goes for is it going to be the ah the ninja expansion to the gold now unfortunately this is going to be a pretty difficult sell as he did basically hatch first and when that, uh, when that probe gets up here, he's going to see the total lack of a spawning pool, and he's going to be like, he's going to be thinking, okay, you're doing something weird, where is it? First thing we'll probably see him do is check in his base. He's going to find that drone hanging out up there. The thing is, I don't think he's going to find this. He's checking, the, he's checking the natural right now, and he's like, okay, there's no expansion. It's already three minutes. Some weird is going on. Now he's going to run up in the main base with the pro. Let's see what happens next. He's trying to get, I think, an expansion done down here. There's a drone that's trying to delay that. Spawning pool coming up. Seeing the timing on that does mean that there is an expansion somewhere. Let's see if he's put... Yeah, and he's actually he's taking this probe, and he's sending it around all over the place to try and figure out where this expansion is, but he's not going to find it. He knows it should be there, though, so let's see how he uh, prepares. No, guys, this is not a this is not a bad player. So near, what? So Mercury sees the expansion in his base, on the mini map. He knows that something weird's going on, but he does not know about this. This, <laughs> oh my God, can I help you? Nope. <laughs> there is. He sees the hatchery in his base, but looking at this should tell him that something else is going on. Just because this is not soon enough. He's had this money for a very long time. And he, again, he's playing against a diamond player. He can't just assume that he's making a big mistake. This base up here up here in the, uh, the main is a distraction. This is just designed to focus all of Mercury's attention toward taking this out. And then once he's done that, he can just grab the extra minerals from down here to do a big ling push. See a big transfer of workers moving out across the map. This probe is not in position to do anything about that. There's a big wall off coming up to the front here, which actually is vulnerable to a bailing strike since it does have a pylon in the middle. No attempted at expansion just yet, though. Chrono boosting out. Oh, is Mercury setting up for a disguised four gate? How unusual. No, he's got the minerals for the expansion. I think he's going to do that. He got this to cancel. Now the drone's running around the base and dies. He still hasn't found the expansion. He knows it's here somewhere, and he's put down a pylon in the natural, which Ace actually does see. Yeah, so he's going to take care of that. But yeah, this is an incredibly aggressive play from Mercury, who, despite having saved up for the expansion, is not getting it, and is instead foregating his opponent. He has gotten down two pylons, and he is in a forward position here. It's just that the power of this gold base i don't think he can actually overcome this really with this play it's going to be quite difficult to say the least three spine crawler is going to finish up here there's still a little bit of time though there's a little bit of a window where the army can get something done here here comes a stalker and four zealots moving up into the uh, main eight zealots in production 
And keep in mind that he doesn't really... Yeah, he doesn't have speed, he doesn't have any gas. All he has is slow links against this, which is going to be pretty difficult to deal with. The drones are in position now. Ling's moving out. He's going to surround the army and start pecking away at it. Now, losing a lot of drones here does hurt, but he is mining an incredible amount of money from that base at the back. And as more and more Ling's continue to come out here, that's going to be a significant signal to Mercury that something weird's going on. Drones are moving out. They are seen by the army. The drones are going to give it away. I think he knows that something's happening. He's going to try and pursue. But the Zealot is out of range of the drones now, so he's not going to be 100% certain where he's going. He should have a good guess that's probably going to be up here. Lots of queens and spines to actually defend this location. He does need to worry about an attack coming from the side, though, and here comes the Zealot running up into the main base. He's going immediately for the spawning pool here. He's going to be able to shut down the production a little bit, but... Ace is on top of things, and he does have that set up. Now he's going to move the spine crawlers back up to the main base here so they can defend against the army. It is now approaching. Unfortunately, putting it at the back is going to mean that it can't really do... Well, you know what it does do is it protects the, the main, really new main base of the Zerg incredibly well here. And this base is left alive. Okay, he's going to put those two uh, zealots onto it. And it looks like Mercury's going to go from here to retreat and pick up a number of sentries begin another push. The rocks will fall here shortly. These are actually quite a bit stronger than even a typical clan structure. I think the Nexus is 2,000 HP total, but most of them are 1,500. Yep, 2,000 HP Nexus on display right there. The atypical expansion location for the natural here for our uh, Zerg player. Top left of his opponent's part of the map after taking his opponent's gold. <laughs> Quite the interesting game here. Five spine crawlers is actually enough to defend pretty well against this army. Um, so we're going to push forward with the sentries now. I might be able to trap some of this here. Spine crawlers moving into position. Lings moving forward to try and get an engagement off. It's going to put down force fields, but I don't think those lings were actually going to be retreating anyway. For some reason, this queen has a death wish and is running down into the force fields. Do not understand what happened there. Slight micro error is going to create a couple. Uh, Lusuri Archons to the tank some damage against these spine crawlers, but not really able to engage. Just take a lot of hits there. Almost loses a zealot. Now he's being forced to pull back. And I gotta say, this is a really cool situation, guys, because you do not get to see this kind of thing happen very much. This is a part of the game that not really too many people understand that great. I think Mercury senses that there might be an expansion up here. Or he's just trying to reposition to attack from another angle, but he's actually going to see the expansion. So he knows about this base up here. He's gonna take that out for sure. This, most of the defense is entirely built with these spine crawlers here, so he can't really do much with that. And I think he was trying to go for a queen spine crawler push here. Creep is going to be up toward the front shortly. And for some reason, the music is glitching out, so I'm going to try and fix that while we're waiting for something interesting to happen right now. There we go. Actual game music instead of menu music. Much better. So lots of spine crawlers in this location is going to try and move forward to engage against this. It's going to be able to kill the one spine crawler, maybe, but no, it's actually pulling back. And there's a ton more spine crawlers building behind this. So the spine crawler push is still well in play here. Of course, field's not really so great against this. He's just going to be able to kill these two queens, though, which is a lot of transfuses that he's taken out right now. Those are high energy queens. And he has great positioning on the spawning pool here. So with that, the Zealots are being forced to be pushed back. Out come a ton of Lings that are going to go immediately after the Zealots. Good force fields there to help protect the Zealots in this situation. It does kill off the Lings. And he can start uh, doing a lot of damage to the infantry. He's going to build another spawning pool. He's just going to put it on the other side. He's going to force uh, Mercury to try something else here. Spine Colors have now moved to the front. There's an Immortal to help out with this and a lot of Zealots, though. And I don't think these three uh, four spine colors technically are going to be able to do all that much damage. Great positioning of Mercury getting to the back of the base now and is able to actually work away at the drone production. And I think this is a signal for Ace to just pick up and move, but nope, he's just going to GG as he sees no way to victory in this situation. What a weird game. Wow.